Um, this is episode four. Demons are narrative heavy RPG thing. Um, you guys decided to go to Japan to investigate this company, which I keep forgetting the name of. Oni G. Gaiji Gaiji Oni. Oh, Gaiji Oni. Gaiji Oni. Um, apparently it's a Japanese-based company. Do you do? You send a message to Carrie of America. That's how we have to throw that of America and everything. Um, <clears throat> and uh, she said to meet up with a Napon, or there's a place in Tokyo. Ask for Napon. Um, so you haven't left yet. Figure you gotta do before your flight goes out. Mm-hmm. Um, you're gonna pick up a how to speak Japanese name? Yep, an old cassette. A little cassette. He's gonna mess with apps on his phone. Um, we need to describe the characters. So let's start with uh, Jack Walters. Tell me about Jack Walters. So we gotta describe our characters. Um. He was the uh, he loves the old school like crime uh, movies and books and stuff like that. So he very much like wears like the old fedora trench coat kind of thing, and uh, is incredibly athletic, strong. Okay, okay. Dan C. McComb. Dan C. McComb. He uh, <clears throat> he has blonde hair, which he dyes black. <laughs> um, wears round spectacles and uh, has a serious goatee. Generally, des- dresses very uh, either um, trendy or, if he's at work, a uh, white shirt, black pants. Um, he's not the strongest person in the world, but he's relatively yeah. smart. And he's relatively carried. smart, but he has powers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, other characters of note, I guess, would be Carrie, quotation marks, of America. Um, she is uh, appears to be a 12-year-old child. No, there's been reference that she is a lot older. She just uh, has a genetic disorder that prevents her from aging or hitting puberty. Um, she's short, dirty blonde hair, blue jeans. Varying colors, I'm sure, depending on the day. Nothing, um, she looks like a kid. She really doesn't talk like one. She looks like one. Ready? <clears throat> um, you guys get some hours before you head to Japan? Hmm. So do you think if we text, texted, like, Carrie in Russia, we'd get a, uh, an answer back instead of, like, Carrie in America? Except to be in Russian? Me, well, I was just kind of curious. Could we uh, text Carrie and uh, see if she has any uh, contacts with uh, was it Emily? Contact with Emily? Yeah, if we can actually contact her and talk to her, if she has like a cell phone or some type of way to be reached, because that way we can. All right, so I'll I'll make a text message to uh, Carrie of America. And ask her if uh, Emily has any contact uh, information, phone number, email, whatever. Okay. Um, there is a long delay before you get a message back that says um, you can get. It's possible to get her on that forum. Mm-hmm. Um, the handle would be. Um, uh, just, she gives you an animal. It's like Emily something, something. Um, but suggest that you ask for the Montana, com- to go to the Montana commune section and request her back. Okay. But since you're the uh, expert on the computer side, why don't you uh, send her some information and ask her some questions? Okay. Well, 
why are you rolling? This is not trying to do research. You're just going into computer where she told you. To oh, I know. I seem to have very bad failures with uh, computers, so I just yeah. want to make sure I'm not going to fail. Computer seems to hate him. Yeah. He should maybe find a, a, a letter. I can pile my depositories for how long? Anyway, there's going to be a delay before it, some of the top stuff. Okay. Um, what do you need? You're... You, you logged in, but you sent a message. But who sent the message to come here? Uh, you did, in, on the forum? On the forum. Yeah, that was me. Okay. On the forum guy. So, your handle was Team6A? Sure. I think. And you get a message from Carrie's handle. It says, who is this? This is the cranky glasses guy. One person says, Cranky Glasses guy got a name? <laughs> this is Dan Macabre. Dan Macabre. Dan C. Macabre. Oh, okay, I remember you. What'd you need? This is all, all tight. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what did, what did we need? We wanted to ask her if she had any information about the... Uh, the chemical fires, uh, the, the defying all things of physics. Oh, right. Uh, take back her. Uh, do you know anything about these chemical fires that are going on? Mm. Mm. Latest one that happened uh, today or so. I haven't been paying attention to the chemical fires. Mm. Give me a minute, I'll watch a video. <laughs> you know, originally this was supposed to be as a side note type <laughs> thing, in the same way the Stanley was. Mm-hmm. So, I'm not sure if I can give it to you. <clears throat> That's fine. Whatever. We'll just go on. With, um, your message is like, uh, interesting. Looks like real, but what do I know? Any other questions? You know anyone by the name of, uh... She spells Ryu, Ryu, R-Y-U-U. Okay. Know anything about uh, Jason Carl's? Nope. How about Jenna? The one that tried to burn everything? Yeah, that's her. You get a message that says, She took my place. And then our message that says, She was kind of mean. <laughs> Very bitter. Oh, lovely. Is there any way we can contact her? Period. 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 Not without dying. Because <laughs> she's dead? Yes. Mm. <laughs> We're going to need some kind of psychic. Or a Ouija board. Thanks. Have fun wherever you are. Okay. Probably face. Good luck. Why the frowny face? Because <laughs> I'm the I'm the I'm the frowny glasses guy. He's oh, the bad yeah. cop. I'm the good cop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it has a little little, <clears throat> little little frowny face. Glasses. Tell Jack I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> tell the coffee guy. I was going to say yeah, tell the yeah. coffee guy. <laughs> And then also the fact that I actually got her soul stone back, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She knows you by first name. You're like your new favorite person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're her favorite human. Oh, boy. Congratulations. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. A random person likes you. Hmm. Heart of gold. <laughs> Coffee delivery boy. <laughs> Barista. All right. Um... You're going to get a message Okay. It says, um, based on your arrival things, I will have somebody pick you up at the airport. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll tell him that. Hmm. Okay. Ready? Anything else you're doing before you go? Uh, well, what else do we need to do? Um, do we need any, think any supplies? Any? Well, I got my book and tape set for... Japanese. 
Well, that's good for the language barrier problem. Well, you got your app thing. You know, I'm just trying to think. Get, get a few word puzzles and Sudoku and okay. stuff for the way. Okay, so airplane stuff. Yeah. Get on an airplane. <gasps> it goes okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of turbulence between Seattle and Green. Wait, and you're in, so you're in uh, California. So probably California. Yeah. Whatever. There's a lot of turbulence. Because it scares the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. Uh, you land in Tokyo. Welcome to Tokyo. Wow. I'm closing my right <laughs> This intermission is brought to you by. Check out RustedGardenCandles.com. Tell them Demon sent you. And we're back. I'm totally putting in a commercial now. <laughs> Subbable.com. Support us. We don't have a... Uh, <laughs> right now we don't even have viewers. It's either Subbable or Patreon. I can't remember which one is. It's both. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so you get to the airport. A little confusing. You know, the whole 12-hour delay thing. Mm-hmm. Delay, whatever. Um... Supposed to be night and stay. Um, so you get up to the unloading thing. You get your bags checked. Um, no guns in Japan. Mm. So are we? Can I have my cane? It has a sword in it. I uh, you can have your cane. Yeah. Okay. There's a special thing for your cane. Mm-hmm. You're going to take it out and play with you though. Yeah. Um, do 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 do. Somebody receiving clearly not an Asian. Um, girl, 25-ish, black hair, say four, no, um, like five, three, kind of Mediterranean looking. Um, got a sign, says Team Six. Looks like our rides here. Hola. Hola, como estas? He's just being silly. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you don't speak Spanish? Only a very little bit. Okay. Anyone speak Japanese? Uh, Assuming few, not. Uh, just a few words, nothing. Okay. Like um, forgive me for me, my English. It's sometimes they say it's a little old. But if you me. <laughs> and she turns around and starts. Walk after her. All right. So you walk after her. Um, out into... You know, it's a lot of walking. Big airport. Um, get to the airport. Then you got to go on a little tram type thing to the parking lot. And there was a vehicle. She has a vehicle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She can drive now, apparently. <laughs> um, opens the trunk. Pulls out a bag. Opens it up. Hands you some papers. It's basically credentials. It says, "Hey, I'm allowed to investigate stuff here." All right, let's go. And she drop, climbs in the driver's seat. What's her name? Oh, did she not introduce herself? Well, I guess we didn't introduce her. Uh, or... Yeah. Okay. She sits down and she thinks, "Oh, uh, my name is Sarah. What? What? Which one's Dan?" And which one's Jack? You're Jack? Yeah. Okay. You can also call me 6-8. 6 That's... Oh, four mantles. Got it. Um, one thing you might notice, she is wearing my little soul crystals. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> mm. <coughs> so, um, she's going to put it in drive and cautiously pull out and try not to get back. What was her name again? Sarah. Sarah. Um, when she talks, on the occasion where you're supposed to say I, she sometimes says me. I correct her. Okay. She doesn't seem to be bothered by this. Hmm. English major. Major? Oh, yeah. Knowledge. Stuff. Oh, college stuff. Sorry. Just, yep. I'm not really familiar with the whole school system stuff. In this. Okay, so... Um, you guys are going to the bureau via Terry's things. 
She's interested in where Carrie can take you because I thought she was stationed here. Anyway, she's not Carrie of Japan. No. Um, that doesn't mean that she's not stationed in Japan. But she doesn't make, mean she's stationed in America. It's, this is where she's from. Kind of like you know, Jean de l'Arc. Yeah, Jean of Arc. Mm-hmm. It's a city in France. Gaul. Yeah. I'm from Flores. <laughs> okay. So, no. My Italian's a little better than my English. A little. <laughs> a little. Okay. So where are we going? Uh, we are going to the Bureau. Um, Hiroshi has the, uh, he's kind of like the head head guy there. And then, um, I guess I'm stuck with you for a while. I guess I'll be your translator and driver. And, um, I take my orders from Hiroshi mostly. Who gets his orders, I guess, from, well, either the top or Carrie. Where did Carrie get you? I don't know. Okay. Oh, um, welcome to Japan. Yeah. It's full of Japanese people. <coughs> mm. Still. Still? Still. Like, you know, like, America's full of, like, everybody, and, you know, other countries are full of everybody, whereas Japan's mostly Japanese people. Mm. I mean, obviously there's Chinese, and I'm here, and there's some other foreigner people, Asians, and whatnot, but... Congratulations. That's a nice uh, necklace you have. Oh, thank you, I guess. Where'd you get it? Uh, it was given to me from higher up person. Hmm. Any particular use? Um, sort of. <laughs> Yeah, Stephen's up. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions about Japan? <laughs> sure, why don't we stop at a uh, ramen place to get lunch after we're done at the bureau? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ramen place to get lunch? You just a restaurant to get ramen? Yeah, well, you know, you're in a different country. What's one of their trademark dishes? It's either ramen or curry. That's true. The beef curry is pretty good. The Indians love it. Mm. I don't think they're actually supposed to eat beef. <laughs> uh, that's a little taboo. It's probably why they go out there in Japan and eat it. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Drive, drive. Drive, drive. Okay. Um, so what do you think about this uh, FNOR stuff that's going on? The FNOR stuff? Mm-hmm. Uh, surprises me. Hey, we're taking over the world. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't believe it. Hmm. You're the intelligent one. You ask no. the questions. I'm just trying to think. Uh, has there any, been any uh, disasters over here recently? You know, buildings blowing up or mm. stuff like that. Not that I'm really aware of. I mean, that's just the whole Fukushima thing. Um, you know, this isn't really my job. I generally don't pay attention to people. I, I got the order to, hey, come take these people around and be a translator. Um, normally, my job is to just, you know, watch over somebody. So, <coughs> I don't I watch the news much, or... No, I, it, I try. This seems all so new to me. Mm. It all seems new to you. What, the, the... <laughs> okay, paralyzed, middle eating middle, or Mediterranean girl driving car. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> well, that's okay, you know. Uh, so, what's, what, what do you do to this stuff about it? What's, Ah, oh, you know, just how fast technology changes. 
especially in Japan. Apparently, it's not so bad elsewhere. But it's like, oh, well, we get cell phones that do this, and we got computers that do this, and we got all these vehicles that do this, and other things that do this. And I'm like, whoa, okay, well, slow down. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, life used to be a lot simpler. Oh? Um, yeah. It's a sailor. But I didn't sail, like, ships that had computers and stuff. I sailed, like, sails and stuff. So, you know, I understand that a little bit better than all this stuff. It's very rapid growing. Hmm. Okay. And you arrive at your destination. Yeah. And she falls into this area, and she opens the car door, gets out, waits for you guys to get out. Yep. Um, walks into this building, it just says, most well, is something in Japanese. Well, it's interesting. Yeah. Uh, look at my book. I can beat this thing, I can beat this thing. <laughs> Roll, roll your, uh, what do we got? Do we got a technology roll? Give me, give me a research roll. 16. Yeah, it says the bureau. <laughs> <laughs> so what I got is 6. Um, it, says, it says the folder. <laughs> the folder. <laughs> no, it says folder. Uh, um. <laughs> Alright, so you walk into folder the... Mm-hmm. And um, there's somebody sitting at, there's like a desk, small building, seems small, um, there's obviously like more rooms off the side of the nuts, and it goes up, um, not very wide, person sitting at a desk, typing away, um, a person over there reading a magazine, um, kind of very lazy, walks in, it's, um, Nippon-san does come, or something, or, I don't know the words for it's Nick on here. Hmm. <laughs> well, I heard Napon, so is it uh, she yeah, if you're gonna use your translator, it, she said it's Napon here. And it doesn't seem to know what Napon is. Well obviously. Yeah. Mm. It's a name, right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um she points out back and then so she says, you guys just stay here, give me a minute. And she walks off to the back. I don't know why, but I see this whole scenario where there's Japanese going around, he's over there. And then I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> You're trying to see what she's, she's talking on the phone. You're trying to figure out what it's saying. It's like having a really hard translation. Did you mean in Korean? <laughs> Korean. It's like, oh, hi, how are you? I'm like, <laughs> she likes to talk in Korean. Interesting. Just wait. Talk yeah, uh, just wait. She comes back. Um, Napon is this Japanese looking guy. Um, probably five, 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 six. He's not very tall. Um, short black hair, very non descript look. Just like a Japanese guy. Fox says, hello. And he says it's in almost perfect English. Um, Carrie sent you guys, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, you guys need to investigate um, Geji Oni, correct? Um, I can have Sarah come take you, um, or I can set you up an appointment for tomorrow. I can't guarantee you're going to get in today. I mean, it's it's almost dark. Um, I can set you up in a hotel near there, though. Hmm. So, um, uh, if that works for you guys? Yeah, that works. Okay. Ready? Um, what should I set the, whose name should I set the hotel up for? When you check in? Uh, put under Dan. Dan C. McCobb. Dan C. McCobb, okay. And, um, he writes P. Jetson, a note, one not to the top. If there's anything, while you're in Japan, if there's anything you guys need, you can get a hold of me first. Um, just call. And he'll break you out and hand you the actual number. And uh, look forward to working with you guys. And he says something to the receptionist person in Japanese. Okay. Which, if you're playing with your machine, it's 
um, finding the number from a hotel near this building. No. It says, <laughs> <laughs> find me a, a hitman for a place near this building. <laughs> hitman? What? <laughs> Hit the phone and uh, fixes it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, <laughs> no. Pretty. Um, it's like, okay. Wait, you guys got your credential stuff here? Um, did you guys need a gun? Probably be good to have one, yeah. Alright, wait a minute. I'll be right back. And he heads off to the back. And he sticks up, like, do you have a preference for caliber? Yeah, I'll have my usual, the 1911-45. Okay. I don't care. Got right, So he comes out with two 1911-45s. Um, and some paperwork that says, hey, I'm allowed to carry this, blah, blah, blah. And then some other paper that work in English that says, these are rules in general. You know, um, you've got the whole credential stuff, so it's not too worrisome. All right, uh, Sir Sam, thank you. And he stops and he looks at you and says, uh, "What is your level of knowledge with the FNR?" Well, I start saying, uh, "Well, they've been telling us to blame them about the uh, bombings of the chemical plants." And ah, uh, okay. Do you know anything about that? Uh, chemical plants? Yes. Yeah. Well. It's happening in America. <laughs> um. Yeah, I guess some others to take care of. Um, write down any questions you have for me, and then I'll look at it later. Okay. <laughs> Is there, like, an email I can send it to him, or just yeah. so? Yeah, um, it's Napon on the forums. Okay. That's, that's Napon. Napon, N-A-P-A-N. Yeah, on the forums. In the farm. Okay. And my actual name is Hiroshi. Yes. So nice to meet you, Hiroshi. Yeah. Give him that <coughs> Japanese bow before leaving. Okay. He does the appropriate Japanese bow just a little bit further. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the bad cop, so there you go. Mm-hmm. Let's wait to you. Yeah. Like this guy clearly uh, knows. Both customs. Okay. Great. Um, so, Sir Sam, Sarah takes you back into the car and heads towards this particular hotel, which he had gotten a uh, message from the person who was apparently picked up the hotel or something. So, here you go. Okay. Hmm. Driving to the hotel. Mm-hmm. She looks terrified. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wonder if she knows anything about the FNR. Do you know anything about the FNR? Um, probably nothing that I'm supposed to disclose. You work for Carrie, right? Mm-hmm. Carrie in America. Or, Carrie of America. Which is kind of a moniker to put it to separate it from any other Carries. Mm-hmm. And now we're also working with uh, I've been to America Hiroshi. before. Oh. How'd you like it? Uh, it was nice. Mm. Lots of trees. <laughs> so you're changing, changing the subject about uh, the FNR? Uh, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be giving any information to you. Well, when I kind of start rattling off a little bit of the stuff I know about the FNR. This seems to make her more tense. Mm-hmm. You can use one of your mental abilities if you want. Oh, help. I suppose diplomacy? Diplomacy. Okay, you use diplomacy to do what? Uh, I just want to put her at ease on the fact that, oh yeah, I already know quite a bit about Ethnor, but I just need a little bit of extra information, and obviously I'm in the clear to know about Ethnor stuff since I, I'm working with Hiroshi. Okay. Um, plus three, five, one, uh, yeah, twenty. Okay, yeah. You're working with Carrie and Hiroshi, and I guess in some part me. 
um, but you're asking me questions about the FNR. Like, this is really kind of confusing me because if you knew about the FNR, like, you know about the FNR in, like, an outside way of knowing about the FNR. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I'm curious about the FNR. But this is not the, you, this is not how things usually work out. Usually I get somebody who knows about the freaking FNR before I have to deal with them. So I really don't know what to do here. Mm -hmm. I have to change your mind. Well, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be stuck with you for a couple days here. Mm -hmm. So, let's just, um, you know, there are things I don't know if I can tell you. But then again, I also don't know if it matters. Mm -hmm. So, ask somebody higher up than me. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, my role isn't high enough. I don't know, I would have been, like, bluff. Like, yeah, I know that. You know that one situation, so-and-so? Oh, yeah, that one. It's like, you could have bluffed your way through it. Mm. You give them a little, a little uh, bits of information saying that, oh, yeah, and then she's like, wait, he does know about this. Oh, well, yeah, then she'll start talking about it. Now that he's had pizza, he's perfect. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> pizza will do that to you. Why don't you make a roll for that, Matt? I don't have bluff. I can still idea. roll. <laughs> if you get a 20, your bluff goes up. 19. Well, if you get a 19, your bluff also goes up. Hey! So what were you bluffing about? Giving her little bits of information that I know to get her to coax out some more information that we didn't know, if you know what I mean. Like, dropping words that, like, wait a minute, he knows what he's talking about. Okay, well, you're going to have to give me a better example than that. You're, you tell me something. Okay. I don't know what to give you these. I don't know what you're saying. I want to that better than... But your bluff does go up by one rank there. You actually gain a rank by getting a 18, 19, or 20. Uh, you didn't grow your bluff. Two. Uh, all right, so... Yeah, where's my information? Yeah, I'm going to have to confer with my associate. Well, we know about the... Uh, let's see... The note-taker. Yeah. I can't... And, and, the, and the muscle. Yeah. Oh, God, where's my information? You're supposed to play characters, not yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> um... Well, I have some information. We know about the people that uh, waking up. Yeah. The return. Okay, you want to talk about the return? Yeah. Yeah. We have close contact with the return. Oh. Okay. Well, that's good. Who? Other than me. Ambition. Emily, wasn't it? Yeah. Emily. Emily, Emily, Emily. I don't know Emily. Sorry. But she does have the same kind of amulet to her. Oh, uh, every return has that. And <laughs> she pull out my amulet and be like, see? Because mm -hmm. I took that one amulet from yeah. the pawn shop. Yeah, and she like stares at you like, I don't get it. Like, where'd you get that? That's uh, some frivolous information there. Why don't we exchange? <laughs> Bluff at work. Or is that diplomacy? Or no, I suppose it does. It's bluff. Sorry. <laughs> uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. The hotel. <laughs> oh, I tried anyway. Yes, she drives past. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Comforter, comforted, and now she's really nervous. <laughs> I tried. Did you kill that person? No. Wait, 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 wait. She has to give you information too, you know. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Give us information a little more about the FNR. I'll tell you where I found this. Squint at everyone. Just talk to the higher ups. Walks into the hotel. I. Uh, Kind of shout back, we didn't kill anybody, we found this. 
who seems to walk a little less tensely. Okay, fall into the hotel, get our room there, okay. check in, you got a nice room, mm -hmm. it's got TV, it's got internet access, you do whatever work, it's got three beds. So can we, uh, on the floor, well, actually it's got two beds and a couch, it just kind of takes up a position on a couch. I would have thought they'd uh, put us in like some kind of capsule hotel. Like, haha, you have this three by three room. You're dealing with Hiroshi Senpai. Oh, okay. At least they didn't put us in a little hotel. Like, oh, this is all we could get you. Oh, um, moon theme? <laughs> Sarah looks at you and says, not my kind of thing. <laughs> Yeah, kind of do it here, wouldn't you? <laughs> Why? Well, I just learned something a little disturbing. She looks at you and she goes, oh, Janime! <laughs> Got it. <laughs> she pulls out a cell phone and she's just texting. <laughs> okay. The internets. To the internets. Okay. okay what what floor are we on? Stay fourth. I'm tall. So... Can we actually, from our windows, see the uh, company from... Nope. Building next to you, Stoller. <laughs> I figures. Sorry. I was going to say, I'd pull up and see if I can get some camera gear and put it right out in that place. But, nope. Do you voice that? No. Okay. That was just me thinking out loud. What you were thinking out loud? Not, not to the game, like... Not character. No, I'm, I'm, I'm saying if you were thinking that. Checking the windows. That's that's a good idea. Yeah, I'll check the perimeter. I'll sweep the room. And I'm assuming I have some type of gear that can help pick up bugs if they're sure. Right. So, so I sweep the room. She stops putting on a phone and she watches you for a while. What are you doing? Securing the perimeter. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Because what's the texting? Well, you never know with these uh, who's listening on you, bugged places, stuff like that. She looks at you kind of worried. Um, he's being like hunted or something. No, we're not being hunted. Okay. Not any more than you are. <laughs> 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 Pull up my tablet. There you go. She's that top. She's. Frozen. She's just frozen <laughs> when you say that. Yeah, she looks like her. Good cop, bad cop. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can relax. We are in a, doing an investigation. We don't know if we've made any enemies. So we're just being precautious. What are you investigating? What yeah, are you, you investigating? Oh, wait. What about the FNR? Uh, well, I'm just a bodyguard, technically. So... Um, okay, think it let's just get this over with. Obviously, the FNR are trying to take over the world, so everybody knows about the FNR these days. Mm -hmm. So the FNR are a group of people who were created by God to exist as the embodiment of chaos and destruction and fire or something. The end. Back to the <laughs> <laughs> To try to set her mind at ease. It's like we have not run into a problem where we had to fight or use our guns. So we're just doing research, we're just doing a little investigation. Okay. Non hostile. Non hostile investigation. Well, you're supposed to be detectives, aren't you? Yep. You are homicide detectives, aren't you? That's what I was told. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. And we've never run into a case where we've had to use our guns, so. Okay. I watch too many movies. <laughs> <laughs> too many horror movies? Horror yeah. movies in general. So there's nothing in the room that's bugged? That I'm aware of. Hmm. Well, no, I'm asking you as the DM. Oh, no, there's nothing in the room that's bugged. I'll look outside the window and see if I see any suspicious people standing lurking. You start looking for suspicious people, there's nothing, any suspicion stuff going on at all. Okay. There is a girl looking suspiciously at you. 
balding or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was just saying, I was looking for like somebody with odd color hair, maybe shorter than other people, stuff like that. Odd color hair, shorter than Like, like not Japanese, like they don't have blondes or oh. anything like that. So I'm trying to see if there's any potential. Oh, any, any gaijin after you. Okay. Um, no? Okay. Um, not that I'm... DM says no. Or you're like, oh, okay, but I, for some reason I thought you were in game speaking. So, no, nothing suspicious going on at all. Okay. Well, it looks like we, uh, we're secure here. You find anything on the computer? I don't know. I'm gonna connect to my supercomputer back at home. I call it King. Okay, you connect to King. Yeah! <laughs> Twelve, research. Oh, you're going for a research? What are you researching? I'm, uh, I'm researching, seeing if there's any more explosions happening of chemical plants. And sure. If there's anything that's happened in Japan. Um, um, okay, well, chemical explosions. Um, there's another chemical at a U.S. facility belonging to, say, Bear or Egg or something like that. Mm-hmm. Some big chemical stuff. Um, it's really kind of the last major chemical plant, at least in the United States. Mm-hmm. So, we'll see what's going to happen. A whole lot of reports on this is going to cause famine, everybody's going to die. <laughs> um, Japan seems to be having very little problems. It seems to be untouched by pretty much all this issues. I mean, until the famine hits. <clears throat> um, so, well, can you look up on there and see if the, the was it Genji Oni? Um, Gaijioni company, if, uh, is there anything in the news or anything in the web news <coughs> about them? In the forum. Sure. Um, no. Not really. Nine. They do programming for companies all over the place. I Why are you rolling 20s now, you stupid pair of dice? <laughs> I'm going to hop on my phone and see if I can look to <laughs> Never <laughs> mind, 11. <laughs> oh, we just rolled crap now. Um... Um, there seems to be a pretty legitimate company. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Anything on the problems about why Japan is not getting hit? Why Japan is not getting hit with chemical plants? Yeah. Because they don't really have any major chemical plants. Or disasters. I mean, like other really weird disasters, too. Like, well, the only really weird disasters that were in America were A, the terrorist attacks, the bridges blowing up, mm-hmm. which were connected to Stanley, who is held by the CIA. Mm-hmm. And the chemical plants, which America has a lot. Mm-hmm. So honestly, as far as horrible disasters, that's all that's really going on. I got a disaster for you. Um, this is worldwide. Hmm. Um, there are several reports of the more dangerous prisoners, um, serial killers and stuff being moved to specific buildings, and those buildings catching on fire, zero survivors. <laughs> Whoa! Dun, dun, dun! Why can't there be a one-quarter survivor? person in the ICU you can't talk to or anything, because they are, like, a... Contestable. <laughs> yeah. He's like a roasted potato. Any other researches you want to do? Does she know anything about the Gaijioni? Gaijioni? Ask her what time our appointment, if there is one tomorrow, if we were able to get in to see them. Uh, okay. Give me a second. Texting. She's going to be texting the whole line. Um, 10 a.m.? That works. So... I'll take you over there. I'll do any translating that needs to be done. They probably don't speak English. Um, they actually probably do have a lot of people speaking English because they do work for everyone. So. Mm-hmm. All right, then. It goes back to texting somebody else. You just want to wanna wait till the appointment? Maybe get some food? I suppose get some food. Yeah. Which one eat? Yeah. That's a pretty money. Oh. Let's go with what you want. Sushi, ramen. You're um, the one that wants food, so you're like, I never eat. Uh, let's go to a uh, sushi place then. Okay. She gets up. Start walking off. 
Who's going up? The sushi. No, he's gone. You got him? Might as well. I gotta eat too. Okay. Well. I'll be eating the whole over dead. <laughs> Again, for not eating. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a crucial point in there where you actually have to do action in the game and you're gonna be like, uh, too weak. <laughs> it's like, roll for your acrobatics. You take a negative five penalty because you haven't eaten in six weeks. <laughs> um, sure. You go out, Dace just starts walking down the street, doesn't even get a car, and um, you find a restaurant not far, serves pretty decent sushi. Um, she does all the translating of orders and explains what's in what and whatnot. And you have a great sushi meal. Some high quality stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Go back and. Yeah. Uh, bedtime? Mm hmm. Alright, wake up. 10 a.m. comes around. She takes you to this building, which is a couple buildings away. It's not very far, but you have to go around some buildings behind the next block or something. Um, Parks and fire lot, go in, get your credentials, who are you going to talk to, what you're saying. Let's get this Okay, so we're, we're meeting with Hiroshi again, right? Um, um, no, you're in this place. We're at the uh, software place. Oh, okay, you only know. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, asking about um, whatever the hell his name was. Jason Collins. Okay. Last name is Collins. That's two first names. Ricky Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so uh, we go in and we go to our appointments and uh, introduce ourselves. So I'm back to the dance in the cob. Uh, this is my uh, associate, Jack Walters. We're, we have some questions for you about uh, someone that had worked for you or is working for you. Um, okay. Jason Carlton. Alright, so um, I guess they go to a different person who has access to the thing but speaks Japanese, so um, there I translate most of it. As this person just looking at Jason Crawls, gets you a form, says some stuff. Um, Jen Carls from whatever city, all the stuff that you already know, and then has been working for this company for two years, uh, remotely, so I think still in California, apparently. Not California. Um, Phoenix. Uh, Arizona. Um, so he's working remotely for the project, um, and then he came to, you know, quit and came over here, or not quit the job, but uh, relocated. Came, relocated to Japan for about a month where he was working with... Um, Another foreigner, um, one of the found- company's founders, um, Jenna Allison. I'm going to write that name down. Um, who technically is one of the co founders of the company, but um, you know she gave up her position not long, and when she left, so did he. Okay. Do you know where they went? No clue. Um, a lot of going through different people. It's a bit difficult with the whole language barrier thing. You get a few people that speak English, but not much. Um, there's a whole lot of no idea where they went. Uh, they did take a couple other programmers that were good friends with um, this Jacob. Jacobs or whatever. Jason? <laughs> Jacobs. Yeah, the name I gave you, Jason Carls. Um, so they all seem to leave together. Uh, the this Jenna Ellison, um, she was one of the major founders of the company. She funneled a lot of excess money into separate accounts they do not have access to. Um, and they have no idea where she disappeared to or where anybody has gone. Um, they haven't really kept track. And um, if you ask any questions about Jenna, she was kind of abrasive, kind of bitter, and um, didn't really have any friends. Hmm. 
Do they have any of the their handle names that they used? Um, the only one who would have had a handle name would be Jenna. Okay. But um, she didn't use the forms very often. Okay. And you have no, they have no idea where they went. Nobody seems to have any idea where they went. Okay. So I think we could probably do a rule uh, the forums, try to look up another name, see if there's any connections here in Japan still or elsewhere. Because mm-hmm. apparently no matter how much we twist, I mean, you can only bleed so much from a rock, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Kind of a dead end. Mm. Okay, so we need to go back and get some internet and do some more research. Or? Japan has nuclear capabilities, correct? Um, nuclear plants. Yeah, yeah, but they don't have any weapons because that would be against the treaty. Okay. So, I'm still looking here. You go back to the hotel and go do some more research? Yeah. Handle type stuff? Okay, I'll try to get the up to the right yeah, side. Yeah, check the noises the other side. What are you researching? Um, 14. Looking for that name, was it Jenna? In the forums and see what her posts were? Um, like I said, her posts are a lot older. Um, but you can probably find people that have links to it. And it's really like this kind of humans are such a pain in the ass, they need to go away. We should be in charge of everything. Oh, Why are we not doing anything? Ta-da. That kind of thing. Like, there's very few posts of hers, but they're all kind of type things. Oh, damn it. You should have asked if she had an amulet. See if she's returned to her neck nowhere. But it could be that she's just neck nowhere. Pissed off. Okay. You can ask who? The people in the company? Well, yeah. I mean, I was just, I could ask them if the, she wore any specific clothing or jewelry. Okay. Uh, so if you want to ask that question, you get a lot of I don't remember, and then, yeah, crystal like that. Pointing at Sarah. There you go. Yay. Do you get a retroactive question? Okay. Uh, we need to go back to the bureau, or maybe, oh, wait, I have his email. And contact him. Okay, I'm going to start make, uh, composing an email and asking a lot of questions about F. Noir returned, if there's any way to track returned, okay. or F. Noir, by, like, maybe their, their jewels or crystals. Okay, whatever. so what is the question? <laughs> okay, so, first of all, I want to see if there's any information, uh, other information I can do about that in order from um, just the fact that I don't know what they are, what they're doing. Okay. Um, or is there anything more than the fact that they're created by God and some kind of thing with fire and fire and friends and stuff, right? Yes. So the FNOR, the fire and friends, it's pretty made. Um, they made a bash, but... Um, <laughs> so, you yeah, know, hold, hold on. One moment, I need to request clearances. Okay. But then, you're like, okay, apparently you've been cleared for additional knowledge is stuff. And then, um, Sarah gets a message that says, um, she, she follows over, she's like, oh, uh, apparently Carrie cleared you. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the questions you want to ask, go. Uh, okay, so um, any additional information about the FNR besides the fact that they're whatever created by gods and fire and blah okay. blah blah? Um, technically speaking, the whole created by God thing is more like making a program. They're not each individually created by God, only one was created by God. 
and that one is our master. So the returned are also whatever beholden to the FNR, or are you also FNR? Or because we're going to okay. okay. The FNR um, are individuals, um, in the same way that humans are individuals. The Bureau is an organization, not everybody's FNR. Okay. Okay. I don't remember any other. Okay, uh, then I want to start on the return. Return. Um, so the return are just people who return from the dead, or? Correct. Okay. Um, and you have to have your jewel. You have to have the jewel to get from one side to the other, but you're not required to keep it. Another what? One from one side to another what world? Afterlife? It's written as hell. H-E-L. Is there any way to track a person by their jewel? No. Is it that are jewel specific people? No. Well, sort of, but not really. Like, they're specific to the person, but there's no way to track them or find out whose jewel is whose. That's just kind of the person kind of keeps an eye on their jewel, and if they lose their jewel, then so be it. So destroying a jewel doesn't do anything to them? No. Oh. Not unless they're still in it. Is there any way to find out that? If there's still somebody in it? Yeah. It would be warm to the touch. And it was cold, right? It was cold, yeah. Can someone else use one of those jewels? Negative. Mm. And a jewel just won't like, be like, oh, hey, yes, this is the person. Ha ha ha. Sparkle. You always put the, uh, say that uh, lost a uh, unique jewel uh, rock on a string on the forums and see if anybody answers for it. You do that. Yeah, but how would we know? That's, that's the question. How do you know what? If it's that person's thing. Okay. okay. Who are you trying to find? Whoever the jewel owner is. Okay. But, I mean, that's, that's the thing is, like, will a jewel react to the person that it belongs, belongs to? Maybe, maybe not. So if we took your jewel, ran about a mile away... Oh, you're, you're back, asking? Yeah, so we're asking her. Okay. Um, Time for experiments. Woo! I don't know. Oh. No, she's curious. Okay. Well, well, we can always uh, use the forums to ask uh, Emily because she seemed really upset when she didn't have hers. Uh, yeah. Well, you do have Sarah here who yeah, doesn't yeah. know. She also has a jewel. She doesn't know. She can tell the difference. Okay. Well, could we try an experiment? Okay. May I please see your jewel? Okay. She hands it to you. Okay. Is it how different is it from the one that we have? It seems almost identical. Like. Okay. Before I, I get them mixed up, I'm going to just secretly attach a little twist tie to, the, okay. to hers. And, okay. um, and keep that away so she can't tell, you know, in my hand. So I mix it up. Okay. Uh, it's that one. Which one is it? It would be the correct one. Okay. Like, she just... It's that one. Okay. How did you know it was that one? It just shrugs. You know? This new. Okay. So I give Try it again. Okay. Yeah, da, 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 da. And she chews right every single time. Okay. Now if I I'm if I hold on to the jewel, it's cold off now, right? Oh yeah, they're both cold. Okay. If I give it back to her while I'm holding it, huh? does it change anything? No, it's still cold. Damn it. <laughs> How about if I go I Twist it around the ear, and does it point back to it at all at any time? It seems to have no interesting properties other than the fact that it feels kind of cold to the touch. Hmm. Yeah, she can pick it out every time. Which is amusing to her. <laughs> well, there you go. Now, now you know a little bit more about your jewel. Haha, <laughs> congratulations. But I suppose that gives us a way to, to see if that person is lying or not. 
What person? Well, whoever, like, say we've put on the form that says, hey, you know. Okay. And they, they come to us and say, okay, which one is your jewel? Okay. So Yeah, you could be like, well, like, a couple days before you met with us, we found another one identical to it. We just had a fake rock or something like that. Yeah, looks really close to it. jewel. Okay. So if you can't, if anyone, yeah. Okay. So that'll be plan J. We'll call for plan J. Okay, plan J. Um, I'm Jewel. I get it. If anyone, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so you're searching for any other types of information. Um, what are some things that you don't know? Um, I mean, obviously you just got clearance from Carrie for a bunch of information. Yay! Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was going to give you that to you. Mm -hmm. And this, by the way, it's been over an hour, so... That's okay. I mean... And that's not you. Thank you. Well, so okay. So, is there any time limit for the end of the world? Oh yeah. Um, There's time limit. Okay. This, do they know if uh, this um, Jason guy? Do they know anything about the Jason guy? Who's there? Uh, or carry it, man. Good. Just the information he's giving you. Okay. I mean, your team's six, so theoretically there's five other teams trying to find this guy. Hmm. And so, um, what's her name now that we just learned about? Um, Rio? No. Jenna? Okay. Jenna. Jenna. Nelson? Can, do they know anything about her? Just that she tried to destroy the world, and mm -hmm. she's dead now. And they thought that was going to solve all the problems. Mm. Okay. And maybe you get the slight hint that Jenna was a lot less of a problem than this guy. Oh, lovely. That whole fire and brimstone thing that she was going to bring upon the world doesn't concern them as much as the whole nuclear disaster that this guy is going to bring upon the world. I don't know. So maybe we have to look for a country that has nuclear. Well, he's already sold the nukes, right? He's already sold the nukes. Well, this is easily sold. Then we just got to get it in in our government, and they can look up where the nuclear stuff is being um, harbored. Yeah, because can't you sense radiation coming off of them? I didn't know they're shielded, but okay. So, was it your request? Okay, so we're going to need some clearance to get to someone high in the government or someone that's high in the military. higher in the military, even if we can get to them okay. the back way. But there should be some way for them to be able to, um, what, sense, not sense, but uh, detect radiation on the planet. Okay. This is kind of a modern day setting. Mm-hmm. And you're hoping for something that doesn't exist yet. Like, he said, these are shielded weapons. You can detect them after they go off, mm -hmm. no problems. Unless you're going to walk around with a Geiger counter over every square inch of the planet. They did that to Iraq for a long time. We could uh, always find out where they were stolen from and pretend to be, or... You have a list of where they were stolen from. We can hit those places up, see if there's any information... Or any leads, like, or request of information from them, because it's going to take too long just to go to every yeah. single one. Um, so that might be another thing we want to get from them. Is Requesting information about stolen things and any other information they come in. All yeah. right. That's you, right. You asked something of Hiroshi, and he hesitated and didn't continue. I think you asked him about Ryu. Yeah. Or if he knew anything about the chemical fires. Yeah. Okay, so there's that if you want to look for that. Okay, and I have a whole list of stuff for that. Should I look for it? And then King goes down. No, King! My greatest invention. You had Schubert's internet, so. They... <laughs> oh no. Seventeen. I, I'll do research. Okay, so you're trying to fix your King. To go through something, he just logs onto the damn forum and searches the name. <laughs> um, 
This is about like the chemical plant fires or something. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, if you want to take the moment to do that. Um, you find Napon's handle. And they're asking, um, my master has a request for your master. Which is what's the que is the question direct to uh, Napon. Uh, says, what's the question? If the FNR will take the blame for terrorist attacks on chemical plants. Uh, and says, wait a minute. Well, says, yes, we can take the blame. Says, um, great, thanks, Napon. Anybody we can hire to handle this? And he says, maybe I can get Rue. I need some time to locate her. It's her. And thanks a bunch. And he says, uh, okay. I share that information with you because apparently you're still like trying to get King back online. <laughs> Remotely trying to get King back online. <laughs> See, the problem is you set up King to like Linux system type stuff, mm -hmm. and you're trying to access him with a non Linux system. Yeah. And you didn't. You missed a decimal point. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, do anything else in Japan? Heading home? Yeah, let's go. Say goodbye to, uh, Sarah. Goodbye to Sarah? She yep. you. Farewell, good luck. She can go back to watching Kana. Mm -hmm. Kind of happy you're gone. Mm -hmm. Not like happy, like, oh, I finally got it. Like, okay, I can do what I'm supposed to do. Anything else? I think that's it for now. I'll give you some time to get more brainstorming going. That is it for today. Next week, episode five. Everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>